Welcome back YouTube, it's Tutti UK. This is the complete Sega Saturn collection. Hey, that's Valkyrie. Does he design the games? No, he executes them. Valkyrie, driver 41, ready to download. Reality always hurts. Welcome to the real world, Sega Saturn. Thanks for tuning in. Obviously, you must have a vested interest in the Sega Saturn, otherwise you wouldn't be sitting through all of this. Uh, so I'm going to go through each game one by one and uh, talk a little bit about it, where it's needed, where I've got it. Was it, was it a trade? Was it a lucky find? Um, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, there's based on RetroClex, um, RetroClex site, there's 239 listed. Some people will argue uh, Christmas Nights into Dreams is a game. You've got like the um, the Saturn um, video CD disc and stuff like that. They are not on there, so I haven't counted them. Equally, there's none of the sort of box variants like the Virtua Cop box stuff like that. This is just purely games. 239 in the set. A few manual omissions, and I'll point them out as we go along. Hopefully, they'll be picked up, you know, later down the line. So let's crack on with it. First up is the mighty 3D Lemmings. They're all in either creepy plastic bags or I've got some protectors. So you can't beat a bit of Lemmings. What I'll be doing is going through each row. You can't see the rows anyway. Uh, so yeah, two lots of rows each. Uh, onto the Actra series, Actra Golf. So a lot of these were obtained Buy a big trade with Pay. Any old username. Uh, actual Soccer Club Edition. Alien Trilogy. Try and get the glare off there. Alone in the Dark. Jack is back. Jack is back. So we'll show you the backs. I know you don't see the backs, do you? A muck. Run a muck. So some of the, yeah, I mean, there's some titles that are a bit misnomers. Um, Breaking from the norm as they normally do, EA with these big chunky plastic cases, which you would think were better, but I'll tell you what, they don't hold the disc any better in, inside. Um, great buy from a mate, uh, Ant, Ant Harper, off his website. Tricky one to get hold of, that is. Another one that I struggled with, uh, in the first instance, uh, Area 51. Sort of, for some reason I think I must have had a couple of these cases left over um, in the box protector. Athlete Kings, very much akin to track and field. It could be quite a tricky one to find, Atlantis The Lost Tales. Mist-esque, I think it is part of the Mist series. Well I always thought it was really expensive but turns out it's probably not, it's Baku Baku. Bit of a puzzle again. Um, I think Tetris, Puyo Puyo, styly. Um, Battle for every arcade game. This one can, for some reason, can fetch a bit of money at any given time. Um, this was from Galaxy Sega. Mike Mondeo Man, I think it was. Uh, Battle of Toshinden Remix. So, you know, those that may or may not know, the Saturn wasn't really designed for 3D. It was, it was it's not a 3D powerhouse, it's a 2D powerhouse. By all accounts, it's quite a tricky system to program for. I think it's like dual processors or dual CPU cores or something weird like that. Uh, Battle of Marina Toshinden Ura, Ultimate Revenge Attack. Need a case upgrade on this one. One I've never heard of is Battle Monsters. So I'm trying to, if you want to one beat them up, Trying to jump on the back of Mortal Kombat and them type of things. Uh, another EA game, Battle Stations. Make sure I don't lose my place. Uh, Black Dawn. Blast or we blasted. I think um, Thunderblade, sort of 3D ice, um, 3D helicopter sim. Black Fire. So again, <laughs> much similar to Black Dawn. Blam! Machine head. 
and all that. It's just like a 3D isometric first person game. So a lot of these I haven't played, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, some I'm aware of, some I ain't got a scoop. Blast Chain, but that's quite a good little sort of puzzle um, type game. I think it's about four players, I think, yeah, one to four players. This one I'm sure was a trade with Scott Sega Saturn back way back in the day. Uh, Blazing Dragons. So, um, sort of point and click. Not glare today. Sports title. I think one of the few. I don't think it's many tennis titles. Breakpoint. This is the ocean one, isn't it? Yeah. So a lot of the what you'll find as well, a lot of the Saturn stuff, is it was multi-format. Um, Bubble Bobble. Featuring Rainbow Islands, fantastic game. Bug, well, Bug 2, because they do it back to front because of the lettering, the wording rather. Think um, isometric um, 3D platformer, Spyro, that type of stuff. Uh, the OG, OG Bug, this, is, this was a um, Galaxy Sega raffle win. Fucking fantastic win this was. And that is Burning Rangers. Burning Rangers. So you'll probably see a, this, this is even glowing even more now. So a lot, a lot of these protector cases, I haven't took the cover off yet. So I'm just getting through them. Um, onto the Buster Move series, Buster Move 2 Arcade Edition. Yeah, it's a Puyo Puyo Pop. Buster Move 3. So there's a lot of these again on the PlayStation. This can be a tricky one, Casper. I've got it in a hard clamshell. So again, them that may or may not know the Saturn is renowned, probably equally now, probably a little bit less than the Dreamcast for having shitty cases. That, that some of them were put into these sort of clamshell type cases, which are a godsend. The other ones are the shitty cardboard outer type, but they're just terrible. One that I don't really know a great deal about is Chaos Control. You know, really trying to get onto the 3D first person virtual world bandwagon of a lot of these games these are a great two couple of games clockwork night they did this is where the sort of 2.5d platformer if you like um did really well with these i think uh, who, who was the developer i think it might have been sega themselves i think it was and um clockwork night 2 but again you know um really trying to catch up to the playstation with these these titles. Uh, put that there. One for the RTS fans here, Command and Conquer. This is probably one of the trickiest games to get, I'll probably say, in the whole Saturn library. In a good in good condition. Mine's was sourced from the continent. Win off eBay, quite a good price. Uh, it's Courier Crisis. Absolutely dreadful game. <laughs> this is on the PlayStation as well. So if you want to play it, I'd advise you get it on the PlayStation. Uh, quite an interesting game, Crime Wave. Top down sort of racer. Um, think um, sort of skids and supercars type. It's hard to explain. RC Pro Am, that sort of kind of view. Croc. So we only had the, the one croc on the Saturn. Crow City of Angels. Again, this can uh, this could be a tricky one that can hold its price as well on any given day. Crusader, uh, no remorse. PC game. Remember playing this on the PC. I think Syndicate. That type of that style. Shooter, Crypt Killer. So unfortunately, this, this is another one that comes in at the vet. Either the hard clan shell or the, uh, the crappier case. Cyber Speedway, bad bad version of Wipeout, basically. Um, Siberia. I don't know a great deal about that. That looks like some sort of um, cross between a first person drive and flight sim type affair. Okay, D's and D for D. Survival Horror, I think the first one came out on the 3DO, I do believe. A couple of quality shooters now. Darius Gaiden. A 
and Darius 2. I think I did a, that was a trade with uh, Tony Electric Adventures. It's not soft, still a pal, still a pal, still counts. That like conflict, don't know a great deal about this, looks like some sort of space them up. Dark Saviour, RPG, 3D RPG. The obligatory Daytona. And Daytona Champion Edition, Championship Circuit Edition even. Highly regarded as the last game, well I'll say highly regarded, it is the last game ever produced on Saturn. Um, critically acclaimed for its acting. Survival horror, it's deep fear. This was a pet. I'm sure it's a Pat trade this was. Many moons ago, do you remember Pat? Defcon 5. Don't know a great deal about that one. You all know Doom. If you don't know Doom, you must get out from underneath that rock. Again, not a patch. I say not a patch. Not as good as the PlayStation iterations. Um, one that's uh, on the continent only. You, you, you know, there was never a, a UK release of this. This is like a continental Europe power release. Uh, Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball Z, the legend. Again, this comes in two varieties. I've got the hard clamshell version, thank God. Bit of a pricey title now. Into the Dragon Force series. <laughs> I'm going to have to go along and peel all them off. Uh, another one that's really you, your best, best off sourcing uh, from continental Europe. Again, I don't think this got a, a UK release uh, in terms of power variants. And it is Drag. Drag? <laughs> it's Dragonheart Fire and Steel. Don't know what it looks like a side scrolling 3D affair. Who wants some? So the Duke. Again, a nice cl uh, clamshell there. Iconic on the play. I keep remembering, I'm talking about the PlayStation more than talking about Saturn, but I think a lot of people would probably would have experienced these games on the PlayStation rather than the Saturn, hence why I keep referencing them. Uh, Destruction Derby. This is what I'm talking about. There was a lot of a lot of the PlayStation library is essentially you know within the Saturn. Um, this being an exception, pretty good game actually. Deku Deku Dynamite, I think it's called in, in Japan. Uh, Die Hard Arcade, and the disc is fell off the fucking spindle. God, I hate these cases. Die Hard Trilogy. Quite a few pinball games on the old Saturn. It's a digital pinball. Some cracking, two cracking games here. Uh, Terry Pratchett's Discworld. It's a point and click adventure, I think Monkey Island esque. And Discworld 2. There is no Discworld Noir on the sun. Earthworm Jim 2. Earthworm Jim never got a release. Another one that's. Uh, is it sought after? It's a bit of a pricey one. The Saturn's got a few of these sort of variants uh, in terms of boxes. There's none else in this row. Uh, let's take it out of this bag because you can't really see it in this bag. I've got to get some proper protectors for these ones. I need to source a couple for the few that are in this uh, style. And it's Enemy Zero. So uh, the problem that the Saturn had with these, but it's like this really thin cardboard and it just it just tears up some stupid. So I just put it in a creepy plastic bag. Not, not to, well, a little bit to protect it, more just to keep the dust off it and to stop it scuffing up any more, uh, really. Still let it breathe. Exhumed. So first person type game. On to the obligatory football, FIFA 97. FIFA 98. Which I think for many people wasn't a bad uh, FIFA. Got some eye. And uh, FIFA 96. Oh, beat ups now, Fighters Mega Mix. Which, as the name suggests, was an amalgamation of a lot of the, the Virtua games uh, chucked in. 
um, what's the other one? Uh, this one here, Fighting Vipers, has some of these characters as well. So I'll get another one on one beat them up. We have Firestorm Thunderhawk 2, which I think is probably a slight upgrade from the Mega CD version. Carts, formerly Carts Special Edition. I don't think it's that much. I don't think Mario Kart's got much to worry about. Another one that you'll only find uh, Continental Europe. This wasn't very expensive actually. A lot of them do get torn up quite bad because it is just the there's no clamshell version of it. Uh, Frank Hurt, Frank Thomas Big Hurt Baseball. I can't speak today. Yet another one that um, even if you can find it, even I managed. To, I was very looking to source this from CEX of all places. Uh, Frankenstein through the eyes of the monster with Tim Curry. I told you a story about in my doctor's used to be a doctor called Dr. Dr. Curry, didn't I? And one called Dr. Rice. Curry and Rice. Very, very nice. Um, layer section in Japan. We've got it as Galactic Attack. I think that's another Pat special. That was another Pat trade. Excellent shooter. One of the last ones that I needed. Um, and a tricky tile to get in PAL version. To get the PAL version off. Overly expensive, not cheap. 60, 70 quid ish. Uh, Galaxy Fight. Not everyone's cup of tea, apparently. This, I'm sure it's got a PlayStation release as well. So, the reason why I'm probably saying a lot of the PlayStation stuff is because if you wanted to play them, that's probably a, a cheaper avenue. Sometimes, not all the time. Uh, Gex. So, Gex was an early uh, 3DO title. What's this one? Oh, yeah. Uh, Gen War. Or Gen War. Looks like Iraq needs to go to battle. And probably one of the best, one of the most enjoyable games, I would probably say, on the Saturn. Um, you know, if you're looking to sort of get a decent game, actually, I didn't realise it was six players. If you're looking for a, a really good multiplayer game, even single player game, uh, you can't go wrong with treasure. And this is a real treasure on the, on the Saturn. So if you have got the money and you're looking for a, a single choicey title, you can't go far with Guardian Heroes. Absolutely cracking game that is. Side scrolling, RPG beat 'em up type affair. Double, I think it's double planes or triple planes. You can jump in and out of the screen like different planes, uh, if you like. But yeah, great game that. Golden Axe Jewel. I think this is the only system that's released. I think it's an arcade game. One one beat them up in the Golden Axe universe. Grid run. Don't know much about that. Gun Griffin. Mech. 3D Mech Fair. Hang on GP96. So as the name suggests, it's hang on. Hardcore 4x4. They're driving. Off-road, funny enough. Um, again, another one that could be probably be quite tricky to source. Uh, I grabbed this off uh, mainland Europe. Uh, Price-wise, again, 60, 70 quid-ish if you're lucky. This is a pretty good nick. It's got like a security sticker on it, which I'm not overly fussed about. Uh, I'm trying to butcher this name. Herberakis Popitio. Popito. Herber I used to call it Herberex, but it's not. It's Heberex. Pop, basically. Hexen, Doom, essentially, reskinned, at high octane, and again another sort of wipeout clone. One of the last games I needed. This, yeah, I'm not going to speak too much about it. Highway 2000. Um, guy from Galaxy Sega did an absolute, did me a and almost foul loose. They were an absolute bounce on that. Wes uh, uh, went back and got it from the shop. Absolute ledge. Uh, the Horde, this needs a new case. So some of these I've got on my list to upgrade. Uh, I think the Horde is um, not a god sim, but it's that, in that sort of vein. Classic shooter, the House of the Dead. Like, not, not very rare, but quite pricey, holds his price. Impact Racing. Another tricky one to find, that is. Um, another expensive game. 
not a patch on the PlayStation, suffers from horrendous slowdown in the hunt. What I thought would have been really expensive, but it's not actually, it's quite cheap and yeah, quite easy to source. The Incredible Hulk Pantheon Saga. Independence Day, there's a game. I think it's a bit shit. What I'm cool. <laughs> Another one of the football games, International Victory Gold. I'm not sure which is the best Saturn football game to be honest, I think pretty much how much this. Um, Relatively difficult to find, I think. I got excited when I found this on CEX, but it's, it's all right. It's, it's, it's not a bad game. Uh, Iron Man X on Man of War in Heavy Metal. This can be a tricky one to find. I got this off Pete Coombs uh, from Galaxy Sega. Did me an absolute battle on it, and it's Jewels of the Oracle. I was going to say Jewels of the Nile then. Family Jewels of the Nile. This one, like a head. Chinese head. I was going to call it Chinese I'm sure we did a trade for this, didn't we, if you're watching? I can't believe his bloody YouTube channel is now. Some ends in Ed anyway, because obviously Chinese put the first name first. Anyway, thanks, Ed. Uh, Jonah Lomu Rugby. Paul, RIP Jonah Lomu, man. Um, one, from, <laughs> one from Scott Sega Saturn, lad. This is a bit of a beater. It, this, this is on the list. Uh, yeah, King of Fighters 95, big box. Heavily fortified. Now, here's a question for them that may have a full Saturn set who have got this version. Because when I got this off Scott, he assured me this is how it's meant to have come. Uh, so, what internally, this has no cover. But it's all legit inside and stuff. And he swore blind to me, because that's how they all came through. While the disc fucking jumps through. So, I'll tell you what, freaking cases. Um, but all the ones I've looked at online, because I was looking just for the box, you know, replace the box. It comes with a RAM card. And all the ones in the box have got a cover on the front. But I've got it anyway. It's King of Fires 95. Very expensive game coming up next. Um, you have to splash the cash for this one. Uh, Kyo 2 Flying Squadron. Cute them up, shoot them up. Follow up to the Mega CD. Crazy Ivan, another mech type game, pretty glare. Another one on beat up, Last Bronx, very much fight, uh, fighting vipers, ilk. Um, top down shooter, I think Chaos Engine with guts, blood and guts, uh, loaded. Quite a enjoyable game actually, I quite like loaded. These, I cut my teeth on the first one on the Super Nintendo, very good games. Um, I've not played the second one, it's Lost Vikings 2. So it's a platform puzzler, you have to use all the Vikings to um, navigate the level. You know, one, one can jump high, one can block and all that kind of stuff. Jurassic Park, The Lost World, or The Lost World Jurassic Park. not played this. American Football now, Madden 97. Madden 98. Um, sticking with the, the big boxes, magic carpet, who remembers Neighbours? I remember the first time I seen this playing was on Neighbours, the kid was playing on his PC, Looked fantastic. Match of Hidden Souls, uh, sort of adventure, spook them up, but not really that scary. Max TT Superbikes, not a bad little racing game, I'm not sure if this is, I think this is better than Hang On GP, I don't know. Dirt cheap, but still highly regarded. Bit of one on one beat em up. Um, for those like the superheroes, definitely want to get his Marvel superheroes. So, Street Fighter with Marvel characters, essentially. Uh, Mass Destruction, um, Think Return Fire on the 3DO. This is a tricky one to find. Can be quite expensive. Again, I was fortuitously enough. Um, at the right place at the right time to see the X and managed to nab it and it's fantastic edition. Maximum force I've missed out on this once. Ages a few years back now in uh, a crack converters. I didn't buy it. I didn't miss out, I just didn't buy it. Uh, Mech Warrior 2. Again, surprisingly another one that doesn't it's not expensive, it doesn't crop up too often. This one, the price of this is going through the fucking roof. 
now is this the first one of I think it is so I source this from the car boot essentially go back and watch my videos about three years ago called uh, pickups from another planet but yeah I bought the Saturn bundle and it had some of the even at that time there were pricey titles this one was kind of that way now it's just gone through the freaking roof really has it was Mega Man X3 some some of the Saturn games that haven't really moved in price some have just gone insane Mega Man is one of them that's gone insane uh, Mighty Hits like good game um, think uh, point blank type on some adult one-on-one -on -one beat em up Mortal Kombat 2 I think the Saturn games are not too bad um, I had a brief plan, I can't remember which one it was, it might be this next one. Um, but I'm not a big Mortal Kombat, I'm more of a Street Fighter guy. I'm, Mortal Kombat is always one of them games that really fascinated me, but I could never get into it as much. Uh, this one, again, is another really priced title. I'm sure I got this and another game later on from one of the Facebook groups years ago, and I got an absolute bargain. It's basically, it's where I got um, Discord 1 and 2 from. I'm sure the chap died. I'm sure the lad died. I think he's dead. I think he's dead. Which is a horrible thing to say, but I'm sure he did. I'm sure he passed away. Um, yeah, and I got this for some stupid like 59 quid, which is a lot of money, but it's fucking well. It's like 200 quid now. It's Mortal Kombat Trilogy. There you go. So a lot of these are probably a lot more shiny when I take the cover off. Another one that's. Uh, Quite tricky to find, expensive, 100 quid ish. Probably only going to go one way. A lot of these Saturn games are only going to go one way. Most games are only going to go one way, let's be honest. Uh, that's Mr. Bones. Again, I got lucky on eBay with a bid. I'm looking at that because I can just, I don't want to get the reflection so you don't uh, you can still see it. Uh, I got really lucky with a bid on eBay. I think I won it for 76 quid. But uh, yeah, not an easy game. Uh, so you'll find if you're it out in the wild you're doing really well Mist so adventure game sort of point and click but with absolutely stupidly ridiculous puzzles one I've not played I think this is a Scott Sega Saturn Lad as well Mystaria uh, Realms of Law RPG early RPG um, NASCAR 98 NASCAR was a big deal weren't it and back in the day it's sort of a you don't hear much about it anymore now. This was a big deal as well when I was a, when I was a youth. Okay, go. I suppose it probably still is, I just don't get involved in it. It's the old uh, basketball, NBA action. There's quite a few uh, NBA games. NBA action 98. So the ones with these, you've got to make sure you get the, well, I've got to make sure, but it's nice to have the hologram on the box. NBA Jam Extreme, he's on fire. And NBA Jam Tournament Edition. We pumped up the jam. So yeah, it's a big deal. That was early, late nineties, early two thousands. NBA Live ninety seven. So more of a simulation. Wasn't that's the right word? And NBA Live ninety eight. Quite a decent version. Probably, I think it's the first one, isn't it? I probably regarded as probably the best version uh, by some people. There's a lot of iterations, a lot of variations on it as well. Uh, the Need for Speed. So if you look at that, it says The Need for Speed. So you probably now know it's Need for Speed, Need for Speed, Hot Pursuit, and all the other variations, you know. Need for Speed Underground, but it's actually called The Need for Speed. So a lot of people prefer that, the OG one. Uh, a bit more American football now, NFL Quarterback Club 98, at uh, 96, sorry. This one's even harder. 97's ridiculously difficult. I remember Shock's telling me, you know, the latter sports titles, you know, the, the 97s and 98s of any of the sports are, are fucking difficult to get hold of. Uh, NHL 97. NHL 98, that can be, that's an expensive game, <laughs> believe it or not. Uh, again, I'll drop look at CEX with that. This one is a middle of the road. It's not, it's not massively expensive. Uh, NHL All-Star Hockey. Uh, but this fucker is. And it's hard to find as well. 
NHL All Star Hockey 98. So that can be an expensive one. Uh, again, I was lucky enough. Uh, the guys on one of the Facebook ga uh, games, uh, Facebook groups, Galaxy Sega. So a lot of them after these titles, the last few I had, and some guy said I've got might have some in my mum's loft. NHL Power Play. So one of the probably most iconic games Saturn would probably be known for is uh, Nights into Dreams. So there was a Christmas version of this, which I mentioned, you know, at the start. Uh, Nights into Dreams Christmas special. That was a giveaway. It was never, it's not, wasn't a release. You can buy it. it was in the box, it was just a free disc stuck on the front. Um, I say retro clip don't count it. I might pick it up. It's about, I think it's come down to about twelve. Couldn't see X now. Uh, sticking with the one I'm on beating, it's probably one of the better variations on the, the Street Fighter theme. Uh, Night Warriors, Darkstalkers, Revenge. So yeah, you know, vampires and werewolves and all the things about bumping the night, beating the crap out of each other. Off-world Interceptor Extreme. Again, not a very common game. Took me a while to hunt this one down. Uh, 3D driving around game. Uh, soccer. Olympic soccer. This is a great title. Again, big clockwork night. Yeah, clockwork night at Pandemonium. Again, probably more um, recognisable on the PlayStation along with Pandemonium 2. Now we come on to the iconic trilogy. The last one everyone always talks about uh, when they talk about Saturn. So first up we have Panzer Dragoon. So a lot of these started off as on-rail sh shooters, the Panzer Dragoon and Panzer Dragoon 2 or Panzer Dragoon 2. So what the Zwei is just two in German. Um, and then where they literally changed it up and for all intents and purposes really changed Saturn's fate to, uh, somewhat. And again, this is one that was part of the uh, pickups from the planet, the car boot one. Uh, it's Panzer Dragoon Saga. So a lot, most of these ones will always have a near enough always have some sort of ripple tear there. It's just where the box are, people have opened them, which is, you know, but the internals are all great. Um, yeah. Back when I bought this, it was 250 quid. It's still about 250 quid. So it hasn't altered in that respect, you know, in terms of its value. It hasn't really gone up. It's just maintained. Because it's, it's not it's not a rare game. It's really highly sought after. A lot of people want it because um, it is a good game as well. It's one of the it's one of them few anomalies that's a, it's expensive and it's and it's a good game. Um, good game. Pebble Beach Golf Links. Ooh, golf's all right. I like the arcadey golf better. Uh, a cracking game. Pretty decent on the Saturn. I'm not sure how it fares against the PlayStation version. I don't think there's much difference in it. Uh, and that is the Mighty Prodius. So another cute sum up. Shoot them up. Sticking with your golf, you got your yeah, PJ Tour 97. Uh, one of the other pinball titles, this is Pinball Graffiti. I think, I think this is the regard as the better game. I don't hold me to that though. Something in the back of my mind thinks that's the case. Primal Rage, not bad in the arcades, there's not really been a really decent home port. One on one beating up with dinosaurs and monsters, big monsters. Pinball the Web, Pro Pinball the Web even. I'll need to check, because I could be talking complete BS. Yeah, some of these look, the thing with the pinball games, they either look really good and play shit, or they look shit and play really well. Uh, Quake, you should all know Quake. You know, taking Doom to another level, essentially. This one, it can be expensive title. This is quite expensive on the N64, actually, as well. I think it's just because it was a late release across multiple formats, and it's Rampage World Tour. So being made into a movie, Depending on when you watch this, it's probably probably five years ago. With The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. We'll see how that turns out. Substandard, compared to its PlayStation and Jaguar version, is a Rain Man, which is a shame. But still a superb game, Rain Man, any day of the week. Multi, you know, uh, multi coloured, wonderful platform and adventure. Not really adventure, but you know what I mean. Um, again, one title that people, other than the maybe the 3DO, really rate is uh, Road Rash and I'm not really sure how this compares to the PlayStation version which is the which is where it's iconic on that is Resident Evil and that is the only Resi game that ever come out in the Saturn there were, were no others uh, I think it's pretty uh, accurate I think it's it, I don't think it's a bad port of it next up 
Resurrection, Rise 2. So, this is Rise of the Robots 2. <laughs> they just called it Rise of the... What, I think they maybe dropped the Rise of the Robots um, title. Maybe thought it wasn't going to sell very well. Bit of Aerosmith Revolution X. So, arcade port. Not great. Light Gun Affair, one of the few Light Gun games. Another sort of bigger box, um, like King of Fighters, etc., is Riven, Secret of Mist. So I did quite well with this. I'm not, this is not too bad in, the, in terms of the bag, so I'm not going to get that out. You can see that quite easily. Again, it's a point and click adventure. With stupidly hard puzzles that some really don't make much sense. You know, you're faffing about for God knows how long. One I haven't played is Robo Pit. Don't know a great deal about it. I think it might be like a Robot Wars jobby. Robotica. Fucking hell, it's fell down as well. <laughs> um, Cybernation Revolt. Right, another title that, which was from the Pickups from Another Planet uh, video. And one game that everyone always sort of gravitates towards um, once they realise it's out. And I think it's something daft. Like, how many players can you have? Ten players. Ten player. Saturn Bomberman. Yeah, so it's um, yeah, one of them games that I say once people realise it's out, they need to get it. This game I thought was a uh, near yeah, sort of title. Um, but recent look on CEX, it's quite expensive. I don't know why. It's Scorcher. Oh, you Scorcher. I don't know why. Maybe they've just mispriced it. I'm surprised them. Like a cyber cycle type thing. Racing game, I haven't played it. This can be a bugger to find. 30, 40 quid game ish. I'm, I'm lucky enough to source this for me uh, from CEX. Uh, and then another copy with a manual, uh, Sega Bass Fishing. I did think this was, this was going to be a bit of a, a bugger to find, but no. Actually, managed to get that quite easy. Cheap as chips. Absolutely brilliant games. Absolutely cracking ports. Probably the best version of Outrun. This is Sega Ages Volume 1. So yeah, like I say, not very expensive, worth your, worth your money all day long. And along with this title, cheap as chips, absolutely balter, it's Sega Rally. I'm not sure how this one fares, which is Sega Touring Car Championship. I don't think it was uh, as well received Sega Rally. Stick with Sega, we've got Worldwide Soccer 97. Yeah. Sega Worldwide Soccer 98. Shell Shock, like a 3D. I think you're in a tank, aren't you? Blowing shit up in a 3D environment. This is the Shining series. These are all back to front, so I'm going to do them in the order that they are. So first up is Shining Wisdom. 40-ish, 60 quidish game, maybe. All RPGs. Shining the Holy Ark. See the prices going up now. 90 quid, maybe. And then Shining Force 3, 120, 130, I don't know. The, the, the guests go ridiculous. Again, I was fortuitously enough uh, able to source them from CEX. One of the other titles that I bought with Mortal Kombat 3 was this, Shinobi X. This is a good game. It's a good game. Yeah, so if you can bag yourself a copy of that, get it. Again, not cheap either. Don't much about this one, Shockwave Assault. Um, Sim City 2000, Sim City, the God Sim, in the city. This one I know, didn't know anything about. Um, turns out it's a comic, a cartoon. I think it's a side scrolling hack and slash them up skeleton warriors. So he had a, uh, apparently had a cartoon. Didn't know that though. This one could be tricky to source. Um, Especially when I was collecting, there didn't seem to be that many. It's like the usual, you know, you buy it and then all of a sudden a couple pop up. And But I say, it's not one that, that you see very often at all. Sky Target. Slam Jam 96. More basketball. Onto the Sonic games. I don't think there's much, any of them were really that good. Uh, Sonic 3D, Flicky's Island. So I port the Mega Drive version better sound Sonic Jam which is the mix of all of them Sonic Knuckles blah 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 Sonic 1, 2, 3 uh, all amalgamated to 1 Sonic R which has great music 
Sonic Racing. Super Sonic Racing. Uh, Soviet Strike. You can't beat Strike Games. So you should know Strike Games. Desert Strike, etc., uh, etc. Et yeah, Soviet Strike. Um, Space Hulk, one for the, the Games Workshops fanatics. I'm not actually sure. This is not an RTS game. It looks like it's a first person Doom style. Staley. Uh, Sonic Space. Sonic Jam. Space Jam, even. Basketball game. Spot goes to Hollywood. Platform. This is like a 3D isometric platformer, actually. Starfighter 3000. Again, another sort of flight simmy type thing. Some people quite like this one, actually. Steep slope sliders. Snowboarding. Uh, follow one from the Mega Drive version. Surprisingly cheaper than I thought it would be. Uh, again, I was sourcing from CEX, but even when it comes up for sale on you know popular auction sites, it's not overly expensive. Some people do ask staff money for it. Uh, Story of Thor 2. So the sort of answer to Zelda, to a certain degree, Zelda, very Zelda-esque, set in Arabia. Uh, right, on to the, uh, the iconic Street Fighter slew of titles. Street Fighter Alpha Warrior's Dream. Don't need to talk too much about the Street Fighter games. Uh, Alpha 2. And. I don't know, is it the most expensive game? It's definitely. This was one of these ones that I talked about earlier where the price has just gone absolutely. It's just gone batshit crazy. Again, from Pete Coombs on Galaxy Sega, did me an absolute stellar deal. No, not so much in terms of prices, the price was really great, just enabled me to sort of, you know, uh, offset the cost a little bit. And it's a Street Fighter collection. I mean, that's just the price of this has just gone in fucking set. It's gone nuts. Um, if you really want to play it on the Saturn and you don't want to pay the money, just get the Japanese version. The anomaly, the black sheep of the Saturn, the UK PAL Saturn collection. Why they did this, I have no idea. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Um, they stuck it in, uh, basically, a Mega CD um, slash US uh, Saturn case, and it's Street Fighter the movie, so it's a big, big old plastic. And these are a bugger. I say if they crack or split, you're fucked. Based on the movie with Jean Claude and everything else. Uh, Street Racer, so Mario Kart wannabe. Yeah, it's all right. Um, Striker 96 football and not a bad little puzzle game uh, Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo so again Puyo Puyo Tetris esque type of fair right, next up <laughs> get another title that is only going to get more expensive um, this and Mr Bones kind of have that same all around them. This one is, is a lot more difficult to source. Um, Dave McShane off of Galaxy Sega did me a great deal on this as well. Um, cheapest chips on the PlayStation, well not cheapest chips, but cheap enough on the PlayStation if you want to play it on that. Uh, and it is the Mighty Swagman. Like with any collections, you know, I'll speak about it at the end, but there's some titles that just Hold a premium. This is a good game. This is Tempest 2000. So it's Tempest. If you like Tempest, you'll like this. And it's not a bad version either. I'm not sure about the price. That, that might have been a pat special. A lot of these games were, were um, I say, unless I can really remember, it's been a long time. Been a few years over, a couple of years really collecting these. Uh, either from Pat or Scott Sega Sat on Lad, or just ones that I picked up along the way. Tetris Plus. It's Tetris. Theme Park, always a good time theme park, you should all know theme park. Um, arguably, does it fall into the same category as Garden Heroes? Maybe some people rate this as probably one of the most, the most enjoyable games on the Saturn. Um, I've yet to play it, mine is missing the manual which is really bugging the shit out of me, <laughs> I must admit. But my case of the freak out is, is great so I'm not, you know, it's not that bad, it's not like it's battered and it's three dirty dwarfs. Again, some people really, really rate this. Um, I'm not, I don't think, um, one to three players as well. Yeah, these don't say, I don't think it's a treasure game. I know it's not a treasure game. 
sticking with the pinball, not sticking with the pinball, back onto the pinball, it's tilt. Told you there's a lot of pinball games on the Saturn. Um, Titan Wars. Space them up, probably with very bad ham acting. Uh, Tomb Raider, for some reason I've got two copies, I don't know why I've got two copies. Two copies of Tomb Raider, but one's a clamshell and one's not. Uh, as I say, it's not worth a great deal, so I've kept both. Trash it. Don't know anything about that. I picked that, that I grabbed this when I probably should have bought Maximum Impact from um, the Crack Converters because they only wanted like about 10 quid for this. But I think it's probably a little bit more than that now. Um, yeah, another pinball game. True pinball. Yes, this is the Ocean one that was also released on the PlayStation. Um, quite an obscure title. Survival horror adventure point clicky type thing. Toriko. So not one that pops up very often. If you're looking for a full set, you can see it. Grab it. Tunnel B1. Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. I think this might have been this one that I played. Not Mortal Kombat Trilogy Gold or whatever you call it. Um, good times Mortal Kombat games. You know, if you, if you, if you can take the time to learn the move sets. Uh, yeah, football. Um, Valora Valley Golf. Oh, when I see that, I always think it looks like it's some sort of, like, I don't know. Like you're going to get blown up playing golf. Never played it. Probably is. Victory Boxing. Literally, the players look like they're made out of boxes. This is, some people really like this game. I haven't played it. You can get the proper controller for it, especially, um, I think it might have a UK release. I don't know. You must have. Uh, like a twin stick controller, Virtue on Cyber Troopers. It's probably one of the few games you can actually use that with. Some great titles for your light gun. Um, they haven't aged too great, I don't think. Not like Point Blank. Point Blank because it's a cute graphic, still, it's still playable. These are a little bit. Mm, uh, it's a Virtue Cop. Aunt uh, Virtue Cop 2, which, which they tied the polygons up a little bit more on that one. Again, talking of early releases and polygons and being a bit obvious, uh, Virtua Fighter, again, peanuts, peanuts to pick up. If, if you're looking for some, you know, cheap cheap gaming, Virtua Fighter, I think this one's not expensive either, Virtua Fighter 2. Was it something like, there's as many copies as Virtua Fighter as there were Saturns in, in Japan, something like that. Uh, SD Virtua Fighter, which is Virtua Fighter Kids, so it's Virtua Fighter, they've just been shrunk down. I do have one of the uh, portraits in here. So this is the Virtua Fighter Remix. Again, one of the very weird Saturn anomalies that bring, they brought it out into a uh, jewel case. But on the back, it does have the uh, CG portrait collection. Virtua Racing. I don't think it's a patch or it's not as impressive as Virtua Racing was when it first came out on the, uh, on the Mega Drive. A lot of virtues and virtuers going on. That's on the V's, obviously. Virtual Golf. One that hasn't aged well. Uh, Virtual Hydlide. Yeah, Adventure. Sort of 3D world. Looks a bit coarse on the eyes. So this must be the, the second tennis game. Virtual Open Tennis. There's only two tennis games in the Saturn. There you go. Uh, iconic RTS game. Warcraft 2. This is the... The Dark Saga. The Dark Saga. So, yeah, I think Command and Conquer. Uh, Billy Wiz. Them's will get that, that joke. Uh, Wiz. Sort of isometric platformer. Wing Arms. World War II uh, plane, by plane shooter. I think I do the second snowboarding game. Winter Heat. Bring the heat. Um, again, sadly. Not as visually impressive as its PlayStation version is Wipeout. And Wipeout 2097. Another golf game, we'll cut golf. Another soccer game, we'll soccer night. Yeah. Okay, no. Some baseball now. So World Series Baseball, I was missing the manual for that. I've now obtained a manual for said game. And World Series Baseball 2. We've got worms. I've got worms. You've got worms. The dog's got worms. Some wrestling. WF in your house, in your face. I played that one. I think that might be the one that plays on Mortal Kombat. 
Um, or is it this one? No, it's this one, isn't it? Uh, the arcade game. I'm sure this is one that plays like Mortal Kombat. It doesn't play like a wrestling game. I remember Shock playing that. And then, last two games, and we're done. X-Men Children of the Atom. I think this was the first one that came out after Street Fighter, and it blew everyone away. You can be like, everyone was like Wolverine. Um, still great fun if you can. I'm not I don't think it's overly expensive, um, but yeah, great time. And the last game, one I think is probably quite difficult to source. Uh, again, I dropped Lucky and CEX with this, and it's Z by the Bitmap Brothers. Again, Command and Conquer, RTS type affair. So that. Ladies and gentlemen, is that that is 239 Sega Saturn games. Right, anyway, guys, there you have it. That is the full pal Sega Saturn collection. 239 games based on Retro Collect. Um, not counting any sort of special box sets or anything like that. I hope you find that useful. Probably use more useful as a, as a reference tool. You know, if you are looking to go for a full set, um, don't quote me on the prices because no doubt they probably they may go up, they may go down. I don't think they're probably likely to go down. They're probably going to go up. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it's useful. Take it as YouTube and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.